Today we're trying New York City's only Michelin star Mexican restaurant, Osho Moco. We're Kristen and Will, and we're on a mission to find the best food in New York. If you've watched us before, you probably already know that we love Mexican food. I mean, we just got back from Mexico and went straight to Los Tacos. It's been a week, but we're already craving more, and Oshimoko is famous for its wood-fired tacos. We're definitely gonna be ordering some of those and a whole lot more, so let's go eat. We ran in here because it is pouring out, and we also kind of struggled to recognize the building because they changed the outside. So if you have like outdoor seating, it's completely covered. They put this whole terrace on the front with all these nice heat lamps above everyone's table. So a really great option. It's nice and warm and cozy, especially on a day like today. Also, the architecture in here is beautiful. If you said I was in Merida or the Yucatan right now, I would 100% believe you. I love how they have this like stucco and terracotta walls, but yet it feels like industrial but yet it seems like you're in a greenhouse. The ceiling is glass, so you can kind of get that little bit of that natural light. They have plants everywhere. It is so, so beautiful. You can tell all the detail and thought they put into how this place looks. When we walked in, they also asked us where we wanted to sit, so they gave us a chef's table option, which why would I say no to that? We could see rotisserie chickens cooking right now, and we could see the Caesar salad on the grill. It's also so nice and warm because they have the fire going for all the food. And so if it's a little loud, I apologize because there is a lot going on back there, but it smells so good. It's so warm from the fire. I cannot wait to eat. Speaking of, what should we order? We just got our cocktails, and as with any good Mexican restaurant, you know they're known for their incredible cocktails. I got the Recuerdame, which from the menu looks like it's their take on a pina colada, but with mezcal, so I'm excited to give it a go. This is a huge straw for this glass. Wow. That does not taste like a pina colada at all. It's definitely a little bit of coconut, a lot more pineapple than I was expecting but it's really good. I got myself a guava margarita. I love this crystal glass that it's in, and it looks like there's some sort of rim. I'm honestly not sure if it's sugar or salt. It's salt. I love the color. Let's give it a try. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. The guava flavor is very strong, but it's such a good compliment with the tequila and the salt. Like it's not super sweet. It's just a really good addition to that lime, that saltiness, that tequila. That is incredible. I could see why it's their most popular cocktail. Caesar salad. We decided to start with the Caesar salad, which honestly, I really don't love starting with salads because to me, they're just not super different from place to place. And I feel like I, I'm always kind of disappointed that I didn't try something else more unique or maybe something that the place is more known for or a different side. But this, I just couldn't pass out. We saw them cooking it on that grill. They would fire the romaine and then they put this cotilla crunch on top with some radish and it just looks so incredible. So let's hope that we're not disappointing ourselves. Let's try it. Oh, I'm not gonna. Mm. I could hands down eat this whole thing myself. That is perfect in every way. The romaine is crunchy, but yet like warm. That cheesy crunch has the perfect amount of texture. The dressing, oh my goodness. It's like the perfect amount of oil. The texture is going on in my mouth right now and the flavors are incredible. That is not a normal Caesar salad at all. The dressing is so different from any Caesar salad I've ever had. It had a little bit of smokiness from the grill and it's very moist, but not like swimming in dressing. I mean, I can't even see any dressing on it. And the crunch, the crunch from the lettuce is good, but the crunch from the cheese is crazy. Best Caesar salad I've ever had, honestly. Yeah, same. One of the best salads I've ever had. We just finished that amazing Caesar salad. Oh my goodness, what a great appetizer before everything else. I feel like if that's a reflection of what the rest of the meal is gonna be like, I am so excited. Also, I know it's loud over here and I'm so sorry, but it is oh, <laughs> right when I say that. But I am so happy we decided to sit here because what a Michelin star experience. I love that we can see them cooking our food and it's so interesting to watch because there's somebody at every station and they do not leave. There's even someone just checking quality control. It is unreal. I cannot wait for the rest of this meal. So we got the two most recommended tacos. Each order comes with two. This first one is a swordfish, which has a labni, which is like a Greek yogurt. There's also a salsa. 
the swordfish looks like it's grilled. There's marinated onions and a little cilantro. It looks so delicious. Oh my goodness. First off, it's spicier than I thought, but the yogurt is a really nice compliment to kind of cool things down. You have a really strong cilantro flavor and like a little bit of tomato. The flavors are so rich. That swordfish is unbelievable. I love fish and it's like grilled to perfection. You can taste a little bit of lemon. Oh my goodness, so good. This is a lamb barbacoa. It has squash blossom and watercress. I've never had a squash blossom before. So excited to see if that adds any flavor. And then you have the lamb barbacoa, of course. It looks like there's onions on this as well. Mm. Wow. Honestly, I could taste the squash blossom. It's like a fresh flower mixed with that rich salty meat. And it adds this like really nice freshness and the meat is seasoned to perfection. It's really hard to compare these two tacos because they're so different, but I think if I had to pick my favorite, it would be the barbacoa. As I keep eating, honestly, these tacos just keep getting better and better, and it's harder and harder to decide which one I like more. This barbacoa has these like burnt ends. You could taste that wood fire grill, that crunch and all that flavor, but then I eat the swordfish and I love how nice and rare it is and you kind of taste lemon, but yet you also taste the wood fire grill. Oh, so good. I need to savor these, but I also just want to gobble them up because they're too good. We just got served another course. We got polla a la grasas, which comes over a salsa with pickled red onions and cilantro. Looks incredible. It also comes with this red rice. There's green onions on top and it smells so good. And then there's also tortillas. So I guess you can make tacos with it yourself. I think I'm gonna try the chicken alone first just to see what it tastes like. Wow, the chicken is so moist and I love that fresh cilantro flavor. I haven't had cilantro of that fresh in a long time. And that little pickled onion gives like a little bit of crunch, a little bit more flavor. The salsa is also incredible. It's nice and mild, complements the chicken perfectly. And you could taste again that it's wood fired. Oh, it's incredible. The compliments and the flavors here have been unreal. All right, let's try this rice. Wow, that's not what I was expecting. It almost tastes like a fried rice, like an Asian fusion type thing. Wow, that's really good. All right, should I make a taco now? Let's give it a try. Everything together is so good. And I love that I could just have more tacos. Mm. Wow, what a meal. Oh my God, this is so good. The rice? is unlike any rice I've ever had in my entire life. It's like a meaty fried rice, kind of. It looks like nothing I've ever seen before. It almost looks like bacon bits. I don't know if that sounds crazy, but it's incredible. And all together, this is outstanding. This is just as good as the tacos. It's so good. Well, we weren't gonna get dessert, but everything's been so good that we had to try something. So we decided on the Oaxacan chocolate cake. There's a chocolate flourless cake, and then espresso ice cream with a caramel crunch, a goat milk drizzle, chocolate drizzle, and walnuts on top. It looks delicious. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna make sure I get a little bit of everything. Some chocolate cake, some walnuts, this caramel crunch, and some of this espresso ice cream. Just look at how perfect that bite looks. Mm. Wow. I love a good coffee chocolate combo. And this is perfection. And there's a little bit of crunch from the walnuts. That ice cream is so creamy. Oh, and that chocolate cake is just like so nice and rich. And that coffee espresso is like the perfect compliment. Heavenly. That was incredible. For some reason, I didn't have the highest of expectations. I think we've just been on a roll with such good restaurants recently. We had incredible food at El Farion and so many amazing tacos that I just couldn't fathom how this would stack up. But honestly, everything we ate was fantastic. I don't think a single dish was a miss. If you've ever been here and we missed something, definitely let us know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video and we will see you guys in the next one.